Temple of Purgation. This map was also recently changed and made smaller. We do not have heals. Uh, I forgot to put back on heals, but it's fine. Killer uh, basement is in middle building. Where's my window? I got stuck right there. Kind of like glitched me into her body. All right, who's the killer? Ghostface or Terry Radius or Ray Pico? Obsession's getting chased. Instadom? No. Scream. So doctor or clown, most likely. All right. So it is the doctor. We'll be finishing a gen if she doesn't run to it. She's right next to us, but maybe we can get it off still. Oh my god, I almost missed that skill check trying to look in the background. Alright, Doctor, what do you do? Do you abandon your chase or do you come for us? Alright, I'm breaking one dull totem. Hmm. That ability is so broken because it takes you off of totems and will stop you from cleansing a hex totem and restart your progress. And that really sucks because now it just took me like 26 seconds to cleanse that totem. That was like 80% and it took me completely off. I'm going to work on hill gen. Not very safe. There's another totem over there. I'll break that after. Uh... Doctor's near the middle. Doesn't have the best tracking. These stupid reverse skill checks. I don't think that should have been base kit, guys. I think that was fine as an add-on. I don't think reverse skill checks should have been base kit. I think reverse skill checks should have been an iridescent queen thing. And should have just been fine. I don't think that should be base kit though. It's, it's pretty strong. And yeah, good survivors will get good at them, but if you're a survivor that likes to go for greats and things like that, um, those reverse skill checks can definitely throw you off, especially when they alternate back and forth between the two. Alright, we got another gen done. My gen's at 80%. Ooh, how far are they? Yeah, across the map. Nothing I can do there. All right, so my gen's going to pop before they get hooked or around the same time. Then we have two gens left. We need to get the gen done in the middle building. That's Oh, my God. That's priority. I couldn't see the uh, skill check. The hook thing was blocking it. All right. Um... We need to get the gen done downstairs in the middle. That is priority right now. Because if not, we don't want to be three gen against Doctor with potentially distressing and an expanded terror radius. I have broken two totems, so there should be three left. Hopefully people have been breaking them. I'm going to go downstairs and, pri and get work on that gen. All right, so there's two totems left, most likely. Oh god, the screams echo in here. These stupid reverse skill checks. I hate them. It's like I want to go for the greats, but I don't want to go for the greats at the same time. Do you know what I mean? And when they alternate between reverse, regular, reverse, regular, it's just frustrating. And the thing is, there's a 33% chance you get a reverse skill check. So, at one out of every three skill checks is usually a reverse skill check. Can't go for the flashlight save. I will lock her this out, though. Gonna use his power.
He didn't use it. I'm gonna go for the safe. Found another totem. So there should be one totem left, maybe? I'm gonna get the save. Try to heal her here. Okay, Meg, I'm not gonna follow you to heal you. You either wanted the heals or you didn't want the heals. I'm not gonna follow you and chase you to heal you. All right, breaking my third totem. I'm pretty close or close enough. Work on the gen downstairs. Jen? All right, go for it. He's on you, you said? People have not been running adrenaline lately. I see where it is. If you left, if you leave the area that it's in, I can get back on it. Oh my god, bro. Get on it, get on it, get on it, get on it, get on it. Tough it out, tough it out, tough it out. Is he? Oh god, you're playing with spine chill? You're one of those scared people? Huh, oh, killer's coming. Alright. Don't! Oh my god! How many of these have you missed, bro? All right, it could be one totem, and if there is one left, it's no ed, so. Claudette's getting this exit gate. Is he faster? <laughs> oh my god. You shouldn't have did that. Oh my god. Nope. Alright, hopefully they'll make the save. I broke three totems. No one wants to break totems. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Don't body block me! Oh my god, you body blocked me. Okay, go, 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 go. Oh my god. You body blocked me in that corner right there. You little shit. You little shit. Alright. Hopefully they get out. I broke three totems, you broke one. Nobody broke totems. This is what happens. Nobody breaks totems. This is what happens. Is she mad? Go to the other door, guys. What are you guys doing? Claudette wants the same door. Y'all need to... Um... Alright, Claudette's gonna get out. Unless he has Insidious. No, she'll get out. And now she just has to find Hatch or open the other door. What do you guys think in the chat? Does she get out? Hey! She makes it. That clutch ass play. 
Dropped the pallet early because I knew he'd go for the shock. Mind gamed him, made him waste time, made people get in a position, got the other person picked up, pulled him off, got body blocked, tried to run out the exit gate, but thankfully he missed the swing. And uh, I was able to get out, so GG. GG. Ah, oh, he's a low rank. He had barbecue, overcharge, nurses, and no ed. Um, surprisingly, the rank five did the worst. Ah, yeah, the blood points are close enough. They're about the same. But still, you're the second highest ranked person here. You should not be this low down as the second highest person in the group. But once again, you're going to see a lot of potatoes in these ranks. Do you want to know why? Because the new rank reset is stupid. It's stupid. And it's flooding freaking high ranks with potatoes. Doesn't make any sense.